In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it. Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig. The president has declared a national emergency... It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds. I saw them walk right into the sea. Thousands of people. Thousands. The list is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to Phoenix Point. A new strategic tactical RPG very much akin to XCOM games. In fact, it's so much like XCOM that I'm gonna constantly be comparing to XCOM 2, which I've played extensively in the past and also played on this channel before. So, just beware, there's gonna be comparisons. Now, Phoenix Point just released on Epic, it's Epic exclusive for now, and holy balls, it's good. It is good, it's a new... I don't know, it's a future for XCOM for now, is all I'm gonna say. It has its things, you know, it's not as flashy as XCOM, but it has a very, very cool story, it's got really cool enemies, there's really, there's a lot of cool stuff that you can get into, and we're gonna get into it. Now, right now, I just, uh, I'm, I'm playing to like three videos, you know, kind of a like, let's try series, and if you guys are gonna like it, then we're gonna continue, and if not, I'm just gonna continue on my own, because I know I'm gonna be playing the shit out of this game, because it's really pretty cool so yes <laughs> let's get our asses into this and let's start a new game I'm gonna turn off the tutorial because I played through the tutorial ish stuff for like I don't know it's like 20 minutes of tutorial maybe so it's not too much uh, we're gonna start on hero I don't really want to go <laughs> play on legend because I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked hero is fine I wanna you know learn more about the game because I probably put less than an hour into it right now even though I had it available for a week I just didn't have a time the time to play it so let's get in there we are heroes let's go the Phoenix project was founded on October 24th 1945 the second war to end all wars was over but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires for a time the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries. Even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world, and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning, and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. It is time indeed, my friends, to rise from the ashes and go into Phoenix. Alright, looks like we are starting in Asia. I believe this is, you know, different every time as you start. We are in the Geoscape. This is the Geoscape. Up top we have our research, our materials, and our food. 
which we're dropping right now because we do have four recruits and uh, we have one plane and so on and so forth this is uh, Phoenix Point this is our base we can uh, we're gonna check all of that we're gonna check our peoples and then we have some stuff that we can search for around here you know let's go so this is our base uh, all this stuff is powered on tablet um, uplink quarters fabrication plant all that good stuff uh, we can build in any of these that are available to build right now so potentially maybe down here we could decide to build something NG living quarter store access layer fabrication plant training facility food production medical bay potentially one of these things um, I'm not quite sure yet which one maybe training facility you know that always seems like a good idea to go for but how about we go for atmospheric analysis first which is our research so let's queue that up it's the only thing we have and let's check our people so we have Marv Siege Gove, who seems to be uh, heavy. You see he has his cannon thing. Uh, we have Benedict, Side Disc, Heinrich. I believe these all here are backers of the game. He has a sniper raffle and we have Bryson Bison, Willingham. Who he has a assault rifle. And Phil Flip Pierce, the same thing. Phil. You seem female to me, but that's okay. So we can check their training, we can see their XP and what stuff we can spend. This is their skills. We can check their equipment. We can we have this extra equipment. We have some med kits, we have some uh, ammo, and we have some extra grenades. Apparently, you already start with the the stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna assign some med kits to people actually. Uh, before we go out, I mean. There's no need for me to do this right now, but I'm actually I'm gonna start with a couple of med kits on everybody because why not? And yeah, you're a sniper. You guys have grenades and that, so that's that's cool. Later on, we can give them pistols and etc. Uh, etc. Et okay, uh, we're not gonna be manufacturing anything yet. We don't have any contacts yet, and there's that thing. So at the base, potentially. Potentially, we could go ahead and build the medical bay or food production. I don't think we have any food production facilities, right? Yeah, and this is gonna uh, generate us some food because you can see we're dropping on food right now. So I think I'm gonna go with that bad boy. Okay, let's go back to Geoscape and we're just gonna go out there to the first and export side. We can see this is our Manticore right now. Uh, one out of two boats that we have flying shippies and these are all four boys on there All right, so let's move over here and let's do some exploration And let's see what we can see our research is gonna pop soon Looks like we already found new Jericho one of the factions the dreamers awaken at Fort Escort Fort Escort is haven run by new Jericho Which means that normally things are quiet and under control, but right now there is an emergency a group of soldiers is on killing spree it began with strange dreams, voices heard in the night, a local doctor tells our operatives. I could not detect any psychological change and there were certainly no signs of infection, but their behavior simply cannot be explained by the PTSD or similar conditions, which we at New Jericho are sadly quite familiar with. It's like something has driven them mad. If you stop these soldiers, New Jericho will undoubtedly, undoubtedly be grateful to us, but we are not going to start this mission. Um, I believe early on you're gonna be encountering all three factions and all of them have like this starting uh, special mission that I'm not gonna quite go for because well it's probably quite nasty I'm gonna do an area scan over here otherwise we're gonna move to this bad boy research complete global mismanaging system available very nice and now we have some new Stuff actually, I think we got complete research Phoenix archive complete research Haven recruitment protocols So we have the Phoenix archives. I believe this is gonna give us more info all about the Phoenix other Phoenix bases. So we're gonna queue this up and Then we have the Haven recruitment protocols so we can recruit soldiers from New Haven and Then there's new Jericho. This is since we just met them if we learn more about them if we're gonna get some materials So we're gonna queue this up and then you can switch it over there uh, Let's explore over here and let's see what we find here. I'm guessing we're gonna be finding more Yes 
The fire within at Katapa. The disciples of Anno Heaven of Katapa, a mutated worm infestation, is causing serious problems. The locals had placed their hopes in Taxiarch Nergal, the dis uh, disciples' greatest military hero. But Nergal is said to be fighting a series pitch battles against the Pandorans and has been unable to help. Pandorans are the enemy in this case. We could eradicate the infestation ourselves, helping the Haven and creating a good first impression with this faction. Yes, same here, we're not gonna go for it. We can also click over here, get Haven info, see what they have. Uh, whenever you're gonna be able to recruit people, it's gonna show up over here. Uh, so that's gonna be kinda cool. Uh, so, this, this scanning thing over here, it's gonna scan for more of these question marks. So it's gonna show up. Also, by the way, uh, these guys, the factions, they usually don't really like each other too much and they will give you, uh, you see, Sabotage Syndrome Haven, Sabotage Disciples of Haven Haven, <laughs> of Anu Haven, so yeah, fun. And we also got new uh, thing over there, so you know what, let's go over here, let's explore this thing. Now there's a nasty thing as you travel through these places, you can get ambushed and that's a problem, but we also have a scavenging site which could be our first mission over here. Now this thing uh, is gonna be protect a bunch of crates so they don't get exploded and as many as you protect you will get resources from them but you know you also have to kill the enemy so yes I think we're gonna go for this so you guys can see the actual combat thing. Uh, this man says I could have more stuff. That's okay uh, I don't think it really uh, well we could give you some extra ammo if I wanted to. No that gives you too much encumbrance so hey hey, hey get back here. Get back here. Put that there. Okay. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's good. Yeah, we're good. These guys are all on the manticore and we are ready. Let us go ahead and deploy squad. Actually, before we do that, we you can see we can go and add these guys. You can you have a couple of options over here. Not too many. A couple of different heads. A couple of different uh, hair options. You know, nothing special. You can change their hair, hair colors, eye colors. Nothing as crazy as you would have in XCOM, but I guess uh, when people start modding this game, uh, stuff's gonna change and there's gonna be a lot more cool stuff in there. But for now, yeah, these guys are these guys are chill. So let's deploy squad and let's go in there for our first mission. And let us fly, my friends, and let us land. This is a this is always a cool landing thing, you know. Again, comparable to XCOM. But hey, all right, so Phoenix forces we are in you can see we have a bunch of these bad boys out here It is dark uh, We have to kill anim all enemies and protect a bunch of crates now this enemy over here. I believe It's a sentinel I actually haven't fought this guy before or uh, or Maybe I have fought him on one of the like the preview uh, builds that I had available a couple months ago I don't quite remember. <laughs> uh, in any case, you can see it's the, the whole thing is kind of like XCOM, but everybody, every soldier has four action points, and you can see we can move way out there. In the blue, it means we can still use our weapons, and you can see the line of sights, but we're, we're gonna get into that. Now, uh, let's see if our sniper actually has a shot from here. No, they don't. But if I put you back here, which doesn't give you cover, so it's kind of worthless you would actually have a shot hmm I don't even know what that thing does cuz you know looking at it doesn't really give you anything they doesn't have any abilities and such but that's okay uh, it's cool finding something uh, unique uh, I'm gonna pop uh, flip over here behind some cover and we're gonna take a look so over here you know you can just fire weapon and they're gonna do their thing but there's a really cooler thing if you click this or if you just zoom in you get to zoom in there and you can see we're targeting their head you can zoom in as much as you want so the inner blue tiny circle usually they will hit that one like 50% chance right and then the other 50% chance it goes into one of those uh, outer circles so right now we have a chance we're gonna hit that beam over there we're gonna hit this stuff down here we're gonna shoot into the air you know there's chances for that but I think we're gonna still try and pop him in the head. This guy has quite a lot of armor, so that's not nice. We're gonna still take a shot and deal 50 damage. It's now apparently preparing, which scares me. Preparing to activate special ability the next turn. 
Oh, that's great. Well, that's that's awesome. Thank you. You can see after a shot we can still move. In fact, uh, sometimes after you don't move with some certain classes like this assault, you actually get two shots. So it's kind of cool. I'm just gonna put this guy. Oh, you're the wrong guy. <laughs> You're the wrong guy. Okay, so you can see he's a heavy. He has a big, big circle out there, so... That was the wrong guy. I thought I uh, selected my sniperino, but I didn't. So what we're gonna do is... We are gonna jump this boy somewhere out there. Maybe... Yeah, I'm gonna potentially jump you out there. Yeah, this is just not gonna, just not gonna work. I'm gonna jump you, like, over here. I think so, yeah. I mean, you could go high ground, but then he doesn't have any cover. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pop in there. Now this guy, you know, this, this cannon is pretty powerful, but, but, uh, it's not very accurate from far away, so you kinda get, have to get close. That's why this guy has a lot of armor. You also saw that it took two will points to use this uh, special thing. So special abilities will take uh, will points and sometimes action points, and everybody has some will points. I believe when he drops to zero, you guys might panic, so it could be nasty. Now you... Hmm, where could I get you to have a shot? Nowhere where there's cover. That's really obnoxious, and even from here, it's probably not going to be good, good chances. Let's put the sniper now where I wanted to put the sniper before. Now the sniper's circle is going to be much lower, as you can see, so bigger chance to hit this. But he's seeing the, is this? Uh, we're seeing the crate. So there's a chance he's going to shoot the crate, or she's going to shoot the crate, which would be really unfortunate. Let's hope that's not going to happen. Nice damage. That was pretty good damage. I don't think we can deal with it this turn. It has 100 hit points, and I believe the last man that can shoot, your weapon deals like three times... No, six times 30 damage. Yeah, well, we could. We could. Potentially. Do we go balls in? Let's go balls in. Screw it. Let's, let's, uh, let's, have an, uh, let's see if we can have a chance to kill this thing. Uh, it's definitely not gonna kill it. It deals uh, 10 damage per six shots because this thing has 20 armor. You know, the head has 20 armor, so it's not actually gonna do this. We could also shoot its leg off, disable it, and something like that. So we're just gonna continue popping it in the head if you can. So we're not killing it, but we're gonna be doing 60 damage, which is exactly how much this thing told me I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna put you into cover over here. Good, um, you're gonna stay there because you can't really do, you're fine over there, I think you're okay over there, okay, let's end the turn. Let's see what kind of special ability this thing has. Oh, it's producing the mist, I believe this, uh, this mist in here, any of the Pandoran in the mist will be stronger, tougher, harder to see. Interesting enough, there weren't any of them popping up shooting the crates. Huh. Interesting. I wonder, could this be our like only enemy? That would be kind of strange, cause uh, I mean, sure, I did play through the tutorial, but the first mission had like, or the first scavenge mission that I did had like five or six enemies. So yeah, let's see if we can get our sniper to kill. Oh snap! We did. We did. Okay. Definitely not the only enemy out there, but it's weird that none of the, the other ones acted, actually. Okay, so... We don't go out there opening these crates, we just protect them. So we're just gonna look around, see if uh, any enemies pop out anywhere. And that's gonna be about it. Now, of course, you can see that this guy, the heavy, really doesn't... Can't really move far until he can't shoot anymore. You know, he needs three action points to actually shoot. So, this is... Uh, Quite unfortunate for the man. I would like to potentially keep him close-ish to the boys. Don't really want to put him way out there on his own, you know? But, yeah. This opens him to be flying from... Completely flying from this side, which is very smart on my part. But, you know what, for now, let it be. I'm just, you know, I'm expecting I'm the game is not going to throw too much crazy crap at me. In the first uh, mission that we have. Oh, you took a shot, so you can't really go far. I'm just gonna put you a bit further. You, like, nobody's gonna even see you over there. 
Uh, this leaves you to be open out here, but I'm still gonna scout with you out on this side a bit. And, you know, uh, I've not played enough to get completely wrecked in this game, which means I don't have enough respect for it uh, and its ability to completely destroy me. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I might be playing a bit cocky. Okay, you can see them, you can hear them saying stuff. But interesting enough, we can't see any of them popping out there. Alright, well, with you, we're gonna I'm going. push forward over here. Just, you know, do some uh, scavenging. These, uh, these things over here is where the reinforcements, I believe, could arrive for the enemies. So, yeah, gotta be aware of those. Uh, I would like to take a look down this way, but I'm afraid what I'm gonna see down that way. Actually, I think we would have already seen... Oh, we have spotted an enemy. There we go. So, over here we have the, the classic enemy, Arthron. He's got uh, the spitter head. He can spit poison at us. He's got a launcher arm. He can do grenade stuff. And he has a machine gun. And there you go. He has armor on his carapace. He's got armor on his legs. And armor on his torso. Good. Uh, can you actually pop him from here? No. But you can go over here and then take a look, look at him. Ah, uh, this thing is blocking us. So you can see, unlike in XCOM, this thing, uh, this environmental stuff does a lot more blockage out here. So if I target it this way, chances are half of the shots are gonna go that way. But if I target like maybe something like this, there's less chance of our 50% going into them, but we might destroy this thing. Which I kind of doubt that we're going to destroy this thing. So I'm just going to shoot him in the arm and hopefully get rid of his arm. 50 damage, okay. We didn't uh, get rid of his arm, unfortunately, but we did some damage. Now, can you feel the love tonight? I can't position you in any way, shape or form in a way that you would be able to shoot at this guy. I very much doubt I could position my sniper in any way, shape or form to see that guy. I mean, you would see him from way back here actually, but... Dashing ahead. Let's put you in full cover over there. So maybe in the next turn you can do something about this. Uh, you are in full cover over here, so I'm, I'm content with you. You could actually shoot from here, but you'd have like probably zero chance to actually do any significant damage. I'm just gonna put you into full cover over here. Even though you can't really do much, I'm gonna put you there. And... I mean, the flanking move would be great over here, but that guy's gonna be moving anyway, so... I think for now, I'm gonna just keep you over here. I don't know if I can do overwatch like this way and actually benefit from it. But you know what, let's do an overwatch on this side. And say, hey, if this guy tries to like get into cover over here behind any of these trees, we might do something about it. Right? And... yeah, we're gone. Let's enter and let's see what this man does. Ooh, there's a, there's a bug over here. A smaller bug. That Overwatch didn't pop, but... Oh, he's going for the crate. Yo, Dildo! That's, that's, that's my food in there. Okay, can you actually see anything from here? He can't. But he can actually get in there. It's not showing that he can target the small boy. He can't target the small boy from here, I don't think. Can you? Or the, the line's completely aligned. It's gotta be that, right? Man, I don't know. It's gotta be that. Let's pop over here. Okay, yeah, you can see the small boy. Now, the small boy, it's Mind Fragger. Ability, Mind Control. Definitely wanna take care of him first. Now, the Mr. Fragger over here. Uh, we should be able to take him out. Uh, he doesn't seem to have any armor. So, this should be pretty good, I think. Nice, nice. Got him. Let's go. Good job, Bison. That was well done. Well done. Now, you can't shoot from here. Like, the sniper is not very gonna be very useful on this uh, mission so far. 
unfortunately. Now, do you have a shot on him from here? You do. So what we could do is take two shots. Oh, he showing us his head. That was a mistake, my friend. That was a mistake. 70 damage. And since we didn't move, we can go in here and uh, pop him once again. In the head, or in the torso, for that matter. Let's go. Man down. Hostile neutralized. Good. Now we know there's more hostiles, otherwise uh, we would have been, uh, we would have ended the mission already. So I'm gonna just be aggressive, and I'm gonna put my sniper out there up ahead where the sniper can do damage. Really, mobility on sniper would be a big thing. Same for this guy. This guy also needs some mobility. But I don't wanna push uh, too far out there. I don't, I don't wanna do too many yellow moves before. Um, get to our next turn and we can actually act if we get into some crappy situations looks like there's another mine fraggy out there and there's an enemy out there in the corner throwing grenades or using his grenade launcher against that thing <coughs> all right now do you see you see the man the myth the myth the legend this tree is slightly in your way, but I believe you should be able to do just fine over here. Nice one. Bison? Dude, you're doing job, man. You're doing job. I'm, I'm proud of you. Of course, we have grenades and uh, we have uh, medkits and such, but if you want to use that. Now, if we reveal this guy, uh, my sniper could actually have a shot on him. We're not gonna reveal them on this turn, I'm pretty sure, not quite. Be right there! Be right there! Oh, we spotted an enemy. In fact, there's uh, one of the OG boys back here. Now, do you see him? You do. You do, you do, and you actually have an okay shot at his head and or torso. So we're gonna aim for the torso, you know, it hits the torso, it deals well. Uh, but you can definitely shoot at the head as well. I'm not gonna aim at the machine gun. I'm just gonna aim at the torso and slightly lower potentially. So it doesn't shoot the carapace. Nice. Uh, we disabled the head. Look at that. Told you. Went for the head. Very well. Uh, you do have a shot. You have a chance to take him out. He's looking at you. You can see the circle is bigger than the man is, but since we do have six shots that can each deal 30 damage at right options, it's gonna be great. Look at that head, it's bleeding heavily. Nice, good job. Very nice flip, taken out. Now we know there's another enemy over there and I'm, I'm guessing it might be our last enemy. I don't necessarily wanna go into the mist. Um, I've not really dealt with it too much yet, so I don't know much about it really um, and yellow moves usually are not the best uh, time to reveal new enemies so I'm gonna just let you be there I'm gonna move uh, bison I think it was bison right I'm gonna move my bison a bit further up ahead yeah you're fine over there let's end the turn this guy might destroy my crate it's probably gonna destroy my crate yeah he did destroy the crate you dildo and he's hidden in there. He might have friends as well. So one of the crates got destroyed. You know, I never actually thought we're gonna get all the crates, so... This is quite an acceptable uh, outcome. So far, I think we've done well. I'm gonna... I think on keep on pushing forward. Try to aggressively go towards the guy. I don't really want him to destroy the other crate as well. I think he might have to go out of his cover to get to this crate to access it because it's like inside this building on the second floor so he's probably gonna have to maybe gonna try to go out there there's also a crate out there that we could open but i believe uh any crate that we do not open we'll get all the loot for it after the mission is done i'm going <coughs> so we should be fine also i would like to just apologize for my Double voice time. if it sounds a bit tired my throat is hurting like hell and a bit I'm a bit under weather so my apologies for any inconvenience that can be caused like that in any case let's end the turn let's see what this man does would you please stop blowing up stuff it's really not nice did he actually com he actually completely destroy that 
Oh, dude, you're you're causing issues. You know that. And he's going for that one in there. We just need to we need to get his attention. We need to get his attention. I don't know how to do that. Oh man. This is gonna be bullshit. Stop this. We could jump in here. We could jump in here in uh, the protection of this crate. Get our man damaged. I don't know if I how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that, really. Potentially some high ground? Like back here. Hmm. Let's actually do this. The man, the myth, the legend, he's flying out there. Let's do this. Let's be cocky. Let's be cocky. Of course we don't see him because he is below and in any case we can't really do anything with the man. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna move. put you over here next to the window. If I'm correct, this guy is gonna try to go for this crate. Yeah. Really can't do much out here. Like I, I can hope we can get some vision through the windows, but I'm pretty sure we won't. It's not the best sniper territory, you know. Far from it, actually. Uh, maybe I can put you up here, and you're gonna have some some vision next turn. But that guy has been doing some serious damage. I destroyed two crates on his own. Look at that. Got some extra will points because this guy came next to you. Was that it? Potentially. Okay. Uh, let's end the turn. Let's see what he does. Okay, he's coming out here. He has now spotted us. I think he went into cover. Okay. You're shooting at me. Did you destroy that crate? Okay, he did not destroy that crate. I thought he might have, but no, this is fine. This is acceptable. Okay. Now. This guy is kind of smart, because... Oh, we can pop down here and see him and just plop him right there and then I'm doing this. This is my tank. This is what we do, buddy. Oh, yeah. Since we are so close, I was just gonna blow him apart. You can see we can definitely shoot him in the torso. Destroyed. Unfortunately, we got an, uh, uh, one of our guys hurt right at the end, but I wanted to be aggressive because I didn't want to lose that on our crate. Good job. Alright, we're getting XP. Uh, Flip actually got the most XP. Flip who got injured. So this is kind of cool. You can see we need uh, 100 XP to get to the next level. Siege, why did you only get 50? I don't know. We killed all the enemies. General mission experience. Crates protected. Go back to Geoscape. I would love to have some, like, uh, end of the combat music, you know, victory music. Would be pretty fitting, I'd say. Scavenging side cleared. Let's go. You got 400 food, 200 materials, and 100 research. We got uh, magazines, magazines, med kits, and uh, a magazine. Good stuff. All right, our first mission complete. I like it. It should also give us some near research. We can do autopsies now for Mindfragger, Atherpon autopsy, and Mist Sentinel. Bonus effect damage and on Mist Sentinel is increased. Yes, yes. Mindfragger gives us uh, resources. I don't like them. Atherons are among the earliest Pandorans encountered yet. You usually you do see these. Uh, I, I like these these guys. Uh, I don't know. We're just gonna queue up some uh, research and that's gonna give us some new stuff. And otherwise, the old Phoenix stuff is doing its thing. So we already explored over here. Let's uh, let's just fly over here to this next area. Hope we don't get ambushed along the way. Do some exploration and then I think I'm gonna finish the first episode. Okay, this one is new... Is it new Jericho? Which haven it is? This is a Bulls of Anna, right. These guys. Okay, and I believe each one has its own uh, leader. Yeah, out there, while they have their own leader. Uh, like the whole, the whole thing. Cool! Okay, you can see all of our boys are... The white thing is stamina, their stamina is not full, and the blue thing is their HP is not full. So what we can do is we go back to Haven, and... Well, that I went to the wrong one. I wanted to go to the Phoenix Point, I'm sorry. So we go over there and we let the time pass and they will regen some of their 
uh, HP and some of their stuff. Research complete. And the Phoenix archives have been done. Good, good. Good. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Yes, indeed. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randall Symes III notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. So we have a new Geoscape thing. And we do have uh, Oneric Delirium Index. Delirium monitoring system is available. Ooh, ooh interesting, interesting. Uh, we could probably boost this up slightly. I would still prefer the Haven recruitment, but otherwise, yeah, let's boost that. Haven recruitment, find a Phoenix base, uh, base somewhere in the Western Asia. And the Symes retreat is this. Interesting. Uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a more of an advanced mission, I believe. So we're not gonna do it quite yet. In any case, this is gonna do for the first episode. You guys tell me what you think about this game. I am really enjoying it, and I hope you guys like it as well, because it's a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be playing a bit more. So for now, thank you, buddy, for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you wanna see more from me, and I'll see you guys next time. Kirk out.